Have you been scrolling through many, many, many film podcasts thinking there's far too many of these? Or have you been thinking there's something missing? There's something we're not quite getting. A waffler from Northern England reviewing films, for example. Welcome to oh, Review It Yourself. No politics, no pandering, no point. Right, welcome everyone. Welcome to uh, Review It Yourself. Um, I don't know why I called it that, because I never do. Um, that- I'm here again. Sorry, go on. I was going to say, is that Sai, like, part of the new intro? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> oh, it's uh, always, it's uh, uh, review yourself. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I always do that. I think, I don't know why I started it. I started it about about 12 episodes in. I just did it once and thought, that sounds all right. And then continued doing it. Um, yeah, I don't have any weird reflections when I intro my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> We're here to, have I even said who I'm here with? Probably not. I'm here with Dave, Mitchell and Liam from the Wait What podcast. Um, and we're here to review another Jim Carrey film, because why not? Um, me, myself and Irene, an absolute gem, if I say so myself. I don't know what you guys think. Oh, yeah. Like, classic. Classic, I think, yeah. I think, I, think it's my, I think it's one of my favourite. I think yeah. apart from Liar Liar, it's probably my favourite Jim Carrey movie. <clears throat> it's probably the last, it's probably like yeah. Yeah. one of these last funny movies like until yeah probably like a few years later i don't think he's ever done one i know some people don't mind bruce almighty i don't think he's ever done one that's ever got back to this kind of level of you know humor i think it's hilarious yeah yeah well. like um, this is definitely more adult humor than uh bruce almighty was even though the sex scene is pretty damn funny in uh, bruce almighty um but uh the yeah, yes, man is probably the other one that is pretty funny that he's uh, that he's done. But that was many years after me, myself, and Irene. I'm on the fence with that film. I I don't know. I do and I don't like it. Yes, man. I liked. Was, yeah, yeah. I, I it's, liked, it's okay. I, I liked it. I read the book, so I, I was kind of like nerd. Like it. <laughs> well, yeah. I read the yeah, book. I yes, man. Just the fact you read a book, nerd. You I read fucking, a book. <laughs> fucking geek. I'm a well-read uh, gentleman. I'm a man of mystery. I'm a <laughs> international traveling co- man of culture. You know, right, I can't I've help got, these things. I've I've I read right, Yes, Austin. man, by Danny Wallace. <laughs> All right, Austin Powers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I'd, I'd forgotten how like quirky this film is like i'd forgotten and how rude it is as well like i was thinking this this should make for a fun conversation um spe- i mean some of the comedy uh we seem to pick films that just w- this is never going to get made now um yeah exactly <laughs> the subject yeah. matter is very yeah. problematic now yes oh yeah yeah think, well it's problematic like then well. apparently there oh, was yeah. like a, a complaint went in but you know it's th- these aren't it's not reality. It's a film. Like I've never understood. Like I don't know what you guys think, but you know when you hear think people where they say, "Oh, it's showing something on on the television or a film." This this might make people go and shoot people or whatever. And you think, "Hang on a minute!" Like the majority of people who aren't ill understand that it's just a film. It's not real. It's not like a how-to guide. It's just a film. Like <laughs> take it easy, you know. But I don't know. Oh, you just like pulled that next episode. Yes, an idiot's, <laughs> idiot's guide. Oh, idiot's guide what, to watching a film and killing people. Is that what you've got coming up? <laughs> we don't even we don't even know what we've got coming up. <laughs> yeah, not clue. I mean, it sounds like one of your episodes. Gotta be honest. It, it does sound like, like one of it does sound like one of ours. <laughs> Although I've got to say, sorry. No, go on. <laughs> nah, I've got to say though, I did. Um, oh no, I have mixed up. Doesn't matter. That was no, don't matter. Um. Yeah, uh, well, welcome to co- uh, for coming back again. Um, good to see, good to see Liam, especially. Um, uh, you know, been oh, okay. too well, so. Oh no, the rest yeah, of you. Okay, right? okay yeah. <laughs> All right, maybe, maybe we'll just leave yeah. <laughs> Liam and Sean to just talk about me and stuff. Right? <laughs> it's just be a jealousy. This is well, what I'm. Weeks. The, I'm the one who nearly okay. died. Okay, I'm the one. Well, no, actually, I'm the one who died at Easter and then came back to life. So technically. I am the new Lord and Saviour. He's he's been calling himself this for the last two weeks. (laughs) I am now basically Jesus. (laughs) 
I said, there's only room for one person with a God complex on this podcast, and it's me. So. I don't have a God complex. I am God. <laughs> <laughs> I died oh, and came back that to makes... life. I died for your sins. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, thanks for our respect, Sean. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been, it's yeah. been a while. Say so you miss me. <laughs> miss, missed you all. Missed you all. <laughs> I've done, far, done far too many podcasts where it's like, oh, this is good. And then you think, yeah, but it hasn't completely gone off the rails. I quite, I don't mind one of these every now and again. Um, <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah, what we do is we, we will... take shit off the rails. Yeah, we'll take it that's off the rails. that's. I keep having guests that are like, oh, after like ten minutes of me talking about something else, they're like, oh, to go back to the film. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, go on. And I'm like, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> I just want to talk twenty minutes on just some random bullshit that yeah. Liam wants to bring up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When I say yeah. we'll take it off the rails, I mean Liam. <laughs> that's, that's becoming my catchphrase now. When I say we, I think it's, I mean Liam. <laughs> yeah, we did a um, we did a we recorded an episode with um, with another um, movie review player podcast, uh, Rotten Treasure. And how quick did it, how quick was I? Did I take it off the rails? Oh, how like, quick was we were, it? Uh, within the first Wait. minute. No, I was going to yeah. say I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> I thought so. They told us they told us that they sometimes take things that we say and then play them like out of context, and like we're literally when Liam saying his first sentence, they're like, right, well, we've already got like Liam's out of context line. <laughs> yeah, and, I gave yeah, them we... many. They had many. They had oh, many and, to choose from. And then he finished off with a Diana joke. Yeah, as always. <laughs> yeah, Liam loves a Diana joke. Yeah. When, it comes to, when it comes to when it comes to Diana jokes, he's got tunnel vision. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the, the we went on their podcast and reviewed Hot Fuzz, and I think we talked about oh, Hot Fuzz. For, we I think we talked about Hot Fuzz for like fifteen minutes out of the if hour that. and two yeah, hours like that. podcast I've, that we did. Yeah, I understand that completely. I did a podcast with a podcaster who does about conspiracies, and we literally did eight minutes on Men in Black, and then it was just conspiracies for the next almost two hours. But, you know, you, <laughs> good fun if you. I don't know what you guys think. I know you don't do film reviews categorically, but I do. I think, well, if people want, you know, this film was released in this date. No, they've just, there's a box office. Go, go somewhere else. You're not going to get that here. You're just going to get Get on IMDb if you want to yeah. start that. Yeah. <laughs> you can get that elsewhere. Um, yeah. Let's just jump straight in. The uh, the breast milk scene was, was pretty like. <laughs> we're starting there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> There's some funny stuff before There we that, go. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, there we go. We can start, we can start a breastfeeding. <laughs> Straight in for <laughs> the titties. Let's go. <laughs> she had a cracking set, though, yeah. Yeah. No, it, was, it, was, it was real as well. Like, the, Jim Carrey was, like, that embarrassed. He cleared the set um, and had to, like, apologise. He was lactating. Is that the word? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. He, he got a mouthful of watery milk. <laughs> nice. Mm. He got well, a mouthful of you know bitty. What? It's, the little eye flutter that he does when he it's not, the it. best no, it's, it's, not. The best it's when he me. pulls on it. It's when he pulls away and he goes back. It's the best bit for me. It's, uh, it's, it's when he growls at the baby. The baby's crying. He just goes... <laughs> just growls at the baby like... And then, uh, dry, and then drives the car into the fucking barbershop with the milk mustache. Yeah, the yeah. Milk mustache. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The milk mustache. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, we, I jumped forward there, but there's the brilliant bit where it's, um, he because he just gets, he's just a doormat for everybody because his wife left him years ago. He's raising three kids that aren't his, but they are. Um, in, all but, in all but what, biology. And, Jesus, where am I going with this? Fucking get on with it. <laughs> right. All I mean is, uh, <laughs> you do, you want, do you want a, do you want a ladder or do you want a shovel? Which one do you want? <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know what I want. Some, something. Help. No, um, <laughs> yeah, so you get the scene in the supermarket where he finally snaps. Uh, oh. And he's like, how'd you clean it? Huh? That scene I is just... That. Well, not even that scene. That series, because that's what leads up to it. That's, that's when he snaps. Oh, man. When he's got... <laughs> that little girl tells him to fuck off. He, <laughs> when he snaps, he grabs hold of her head. And he's fucking dra- trying to drown her in the fucking... In the, what is it in the fountain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, she's like, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell my daddy on you, Charlie. And he's like, it's not Charlie. My the name's Hank. Fuck face, and just shoves her back under. It's when he's and doing it. When he looks around, hands. he looks around, and then starts shaking yeah. her really fast. It was just like in this film, there's like really subtle joke as well, like jokes that you wouldn't be acceptable now at all. Like when the guy walks up to him, who's like the only friendly person, he's like, Oh hey, my kid got the lead in the new school, high school musical, and he's just like. Well, I guess he likes the cock after all, and just like 
<laughs> winks at him and walks off, and you're like, where else did that come from? <laughs> me, like, me and Dave were talking about this earlier. We were saying that um, that we, when we were watching this film for the first time as kids, we didn't understand any of the free, the, the jokes just went straight over our heads. We didn't understand it at all. Yeah, a lot of the physical, a lot of the physical humor and the easy to get jokes kind of thing were well, things I remember from the movie. But then, yeah, like as you get older and you watch it again, kind of thing, you just say, like, "Oh man, this this is like a lot." Of fucking it's, on the it's on yeah. the nose. Like, like, it's on the nose. It's right on the. It's it's on the end of summer, definitely. You name me a film that they've brought out recently that involves a grown man sucking a titty and stealing it from a baby. You show me a film. That's not on a naughty website. I don't know. I haven't seen. I haven't seen the latest Batman. True. I haven't seen. <laughs> There's no nipples in that bat nipple or otherwise. So don't don't get me started on the Batman. I'm, don't get I'm Liam started. Not interested. Don't, 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 <laughs> not interested. Liam, it's fucking terrible. Honestly, I've been trying to be polite about it on other podcasts and talking to people. I personally think it's fucking terrible. Well, don't worry. I'll watch it and then I will tell you what I think of it, and I won't be polite. <laughs> three hours. Three hours of your life, Liam. Oh, good glittery on this hand three hours of your life um <laughs> yeah and then it just it just gets even more like it's a complete farce like he drives the car with the tash doesn't eat to the barbers um what else does he do Try to think now. uh uh there was well it was obviously him in the supermarket when it first starts with the badge clean line oh yeah uh, too embarrassing the woman that cuts in front of him um it's the barbers the end of it it's it's, it's, oh, the, yeah. it's the badge the clean it's the badge clean Drowning the, the girl. Doesn't he? Doesn't he drown the girl? He drowns oh, the girl after, oh. after the old and then, guy. And then he go. And last thing is going to his neighbours, isn't it? And taking a oh, crap yeah. on the lawn. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah, which is a great transition. Transition. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Into the ice cream. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. If you listen carefully, when this transition into the ice cream, as he's pouring it out, you've still got Charlie yeah, going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Um. Yeah. I love, so. So the basic plot. Um. Charlie Bailey Gates, he's a Rhode Island State Patrol police officer. Um, and he, um, in the greatest state in the world, Rhode Island, and basically he um, he, he he has this schizophrenic disorder with involuntary rage or narcissistic rage. They say it a few times. Um, Advan- and- it's advanced delusionary schizophrenia with narcissistic rage. Very good. But he I'm is not- a very gentle person. <laughs> he's just listening to death metal in the like, car. He's just sitting there with yeah. the car. He's just yeah. motherfucker robot, motherfucker robot. Yeah. And then the um, the so and then he he finds out that he's got a split personality and there's Hanks on one side who's just no nonsense. He used to be part of the personality way back when, but has been subdued. Um, but comes out whenever something you know something upsets him or that kind of thing. And it's just, I mean, there's just scenes of like like Jim Carrey like putting down a cow with just gun, just gunshots and then like come on <laughs> just like literally strangling a cow like let it go girl go on the greener pastures and you're just like what what am i watching but i was laughing my ass off so that's all you want for a film i think i mean how many times did he shoot that cow did he <laughs> empty a clip it's about he emptied times, the clip and it survives and it survives and it survives yeah. it makes you laugh he empties the clip and then goes oh and all of a sudden he goes uh, like, uh, starts beating it <laughs> yeah. with a gun. <laughs> yeah. Holy hell! <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, honestly. Wait. Um. Oh, by the way, did you guys know? And then, so Irene, I don't know. She's become involved in with some gangster role. They never really talk about it, do they? Um. And she's played by Renny Zellweger. I think this is like her first film. Or I mean, she was quite, quite new. Oh, I think. I was gonna say she um, must have done. She must have done the first Bridget Jones by this point, I think, because Bridget Jones was literally like what ninety nine, two thousand. I don't know. Because I think, I'm literally doing I think, exactly the same thing. I right think now. no, I think Bridget Jones was two thousand one, and I think Bridget Jones Edge of Reason was two thousand four. Do, you know, do you know how old she is? No, oh, I was what fifty three. Told you what? Oh. Fair play. She's fifty three. Mitch, yeah. you're older than you're probably the oldest one here. That one yeah. by part, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look. Um, yeah, it was me, myself, and Irene, and then Bridget Jones' diary. Oh, so, really? Oh. 2001 was so, Bridget Jones' diary. Yeah. Wasn't she in um, was she in Jerry Maguire? She was literally just reading it. She's in Jerry Maguire. I think that was... Yeah. Um, I think it might have been her first... Her early roles. She was on TV. Eight seconds. She was in Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Next Generation. Uh, Oh, that don't God. count. Oh, I was going to say, that don't count. 
Uh, they weren't going to be the original one, was it? Sure, I don't know. I, 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 I think this might have been um, like her breakout role was Jeremy. Yeah. Roy. That was that was the role, I think, because he did a lot of TV stuff, uh, a lot of shit stuff, but it sounds like, because if it's Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the next generation, as far as I know, I don't do horror films, but I've heard that that is absolute dog shit. I don't do horror films. Not for me. Mm. Nope. Fair enough. Um, yeah, the, the 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 script as well is quite sharp. So, like Hank saying things like, uh, the funky chicken was Charlie's dad's. I'm Tango Man myself. Well, and all that. Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a, definitely a little dash of, like, the mass character in there. A, a yeah. Few points, yeah. Which I quite enjoyed. Um, and Hank finds Irene like really tiresome you can tell like where he just the way he talks to her and like there's a great scene where he's just like <sighs> he like proper just this massive sigh like I'm fed up with her already and it um, makes you love when they're arguing and he goes listen I'm not here to twist your niblets <laughs> <laughs> while, while you're at it why don't you climb up there and take a big steamy piss out of the power lines <laughs> I love that um yeah I uh, think this this film has got so many one liners in it it's just it's just, it's just... Uh, the, but, the majority of the comedy comes from like Hank doing it's like, just Hank just being... like you know when they're about to push the car off the cliff he's like on a count of ten one two three four five six seven nine ten <laughs> no he, he, says, like, he says the count of nine he goes on the count of nine one two three four five six seven eight nine and then pushes <laughs> yeah I'd lived by Jim Carrey which is why when you when you see like Renny Zellweger looks at him weirdly for a second because it, it was meant to be to three or something like that and he just came up with that the same with you know when he's with his three sons and he goes Kisses and oh, yeah, they're all like, yeah, yeah. that's sadly because you can see the, the first actor, it's not Anthony Anderson, I can't remember his name. Um, he was in they're just all process. confused, they're, like, they're just like, like, oh, right then, yeah, okay. Um, oh, that, I, love, I, I love that scene when they're arguing and they're cussing each other out before he even walks in. That seems perfect, yeah. I well, love that it's like scene. taking the piss out of each other, like saying, Why yeah. is Pluto even a planet? And this was like six years before they even like, <laughs> it says when he says, uh. Or he says, said, uh, you think you're so dumb, you think polypeptides are motherfucking toothpaste. <laughs> Brilliant. I mean, yeah. It comes uh, in, what's, what's the matter, fellas? Ah, you know, school, shit and shit. <laughs> well, it's when he puts... I mean, um, sorry, go on. I was going to say, they do show how, like, he is a good dad, kind of thing, even though they're oh, not yeah. biologically his kids. He sticks by them, he raises them like, as best he can on his own. And then, like, it's a great moment with the whole swearing kind of thing, how that comes about when they just innocently watching Richard Pryor. Or, or no, the kids <laughs> want to watch Richard Pryor. I want to see so. some lions yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, They want to see, they want to see Richard Pryor. And Richard Pryor's got, yeah, they want to, I'm talking about real lions. Otherwise, they'd be, be fucking, fucking with him in the zoo. And he, <laughs> he's about trying to, trying to turn on the TV, but they're already busted up laughing. And he's just like, all right, fine. We'll, we'll watch this and then they transition into them all grown up but they're all still sat on him yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's just in the middle like laughing hysterically but obviously being crushed kind of thing. and they're watching Chris Rock now and uh yeah it's funny because like, he, he goes he's guy's funny, motherfucking motherfucking funny. Motherfucking. it's when they start elbowing him he's like <laughs> yeah he's like, <laughs> <laughs> um, um yeah like, and they're like really smart as well aren't they they're, they're, they're geniuses, geniuses they? yeah yeah, yeah. Well, they're like, geniuses the real mom the, their mom and like their real dad um oh my god we haven't even see this is what happens when i jump to breast milk first right what what <laughs> the, the, the bit at the beginning where the chauffeur from the wedding they get married um and he's like oh god no what small person um and that the, <laughs> and charlie says oh do you people take checks and he's like do we people take checks He's like, do you mean black people? He's like, no, no, I mean your company. He's like, don't give me that racist bullshit. That was a slur. And then it becomes like, oh, so it's a little person thing, man. Like, I love that. <laughs> that bit is great when he starts. He starts trying to. He starts swinging the nunchucks, and he gives him three of the most pathetic little slaps I've ever seen in my life. He's like, he's like, oh, oh, it's on now. <laughs> like, just, oh, whack Charlie, him. don't hit him. And she's blaming him, and he's just getting like whacked by these nunchucks. And he's like, hey, those are illegal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that, um, that one of the jokes that went over my head as a kid is when um when they're in the car after she's leaving him and he goes he goes to uh, Charlie goes but you said would it well blubber and then he turns and he goes oh she'd be in blubber all right just as soon as I free Willie I'm like <laughs> wait what <laughs> what <laughs> what are you just say well is that obviously like sorry there's the, there's a reveal moment of when uh the the like the kids are being born and uh oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the daughter's reaction is just a boy oi, 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 oi. and then the next reveal well, oh, it's when charlie having, goes it's when charlie goes ah, he goes 
Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. wow. Uh, uh, and then, yeah, then she has more. And it was a film that she had triplets. And he had the moment where he's in the barbecue kind of thing. He has his friend come up to him. And his friend come, friend, he, and the funny little moment that me and Liam mentioned earlier is just how they, like, he's trying to, like, bring up the fact that these are clearly black children and he's, so he can't be the biologically fa- biological father. Yeah, Charlie, Charlie and he tries to get shit. aggressive. He's not accepting it and then he, he guy just turns back to him and just goes, hey, Charlie, don't listen to me. It's just a bit of talking. Woo! Woo! <laughs> just a little woo! Oh. Woo! <laughs> oh, God. Just that, I don't know why that's so funny. It's just the way he does it. He goes, hey, hey, Charlie, just uh, don't mind me. It's just, just, just a bit of talking. Woo! It's, it, this is where this film excels for me. Like, yeah, there's the gross comedy that we'll, we'll get to. There's like the writing's really good, but then there's just these moments where like you think, oh, this is quite a nice scene, and then they throw something in. You're like, you laugh. There was a bit where um, Hank, like, he's it, one of the first times Irene meets Hank, the Hank persona, and he's saying to me, you know, I, I hope we get to meet each other better and all. And she's like, yeah, me too. And he's like, uh, do you swallow out of nowhere? Out of, <laughs> absolutely. And she just smacks him one. Um, and it's it's just honestly, uh, and I love the catchphrases that um that Hank has for her. Like I've written down, uh, hold on, cheese tits, Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Pocahontas, pussy fart. Like these are jokes that like as a kid, like I mean, I didn't watch it when I was that young, but like I was watching this, like what the hell? But there's moments of sweetness though. I think that's what the Farley brothers do well with their films, like you know, like Dumb and Dumber, and um, I think Shallow House probably their best film personally myself. Um, and this film, like they have these moments of like sweetness in it, where, like the scene outside the diner, where later on, where Hank breaks down because she said, "What, what, what? What's Liam laughing at?" No, it's just it's that scene. I'm gonna make it up to that. I'm gonna make it up to that kid. He's like, "Did you not see the look on his face? Just looked a little pale. That's all." <laughs> <laughs> And when he starts on a little kid with a milkshake, he just fully starts on well, this kid. Come on, what, you going to get your mommy to fight your battles hey, for you? Come on. Hey, was pro- hey, what's your problem, pal? i got no beef with you. It's just between me and the kids. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a part, do you know what? Out of that whole scene, the only the, 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 the thing that wouldn't happen now is once it's all done and the kid's taken away and he goes, pussy, he turns around and there is quite obviously a lesbian couple sat behind him. He turns around and goes, What's going on, fellas? And yes. takes the fag, yeah. takes the fag off the table. How's it, how's it hanging, fellas? Is what he's saying. Yeah, how's it, how's it hanging, fellas? And he just takes it. And I'm just like, oh, my. It's like, you watch it, you're like, that would not fucking fly now. Gee, is it, this film would not fly. See, as, a, as a kid, I thought they were actually men. Like, I'm just being honest. I never realised. Like, it was only when I watched it this time. I was like, oh, those are, w- oh, those are women. Like, because it's really, it's a really quick scene, isn't it? And you're not like as a kid. Well, that, you, that happens. That that bit there is over in a flash. It happened, it's like four seconds and it's gone. Yeah. yeah. And you may not notice it. Like, you may not notice that they're women or anything like that. And that's a, even a joke. It's just... Uh, it's the whole point. Yeah, it's that, little, that, it's yeah. the whole point And it's just that little bit there. That... Yeah. And, and there's, um, I, I think the kids are great throughout it. I mean, they're not kids, they're adults. But um, his three kids are brilliant. Um, like, like the scene with the chicken. It's like, what's a diamond of a chicken's egg? And I'm like... <laughs> Better have oh. this chicken egg every day. I'll take that bet. Ah, oh, just <laughs> man, man, the best bit about that is he goes, I'll take that bet. He goes, hey, bring out your br- br- bring your ass out. Oh yeah, get you. <laughs> yeah, and then the reveal oh. later that he, that he He's did, got a that, chicken head well, hanging out his ass. Well, yeah, but before that, you have them kind of super. It, but a helicopter. He's like, you know, you didn't, you didn't do it. He goes, hey, I was close. Kind of yeah, I was close. I'm paying, yeah. I'm paying at the protest. It's like, yeah. Come on, it was close and enough. Then, yeah, and then went and the like, police. Yeah, sorry, go. On. I was gonna say, I like the, the whole um, they're about to fly the helicopter guy thing, and the, the, one of them's just going because oh man, all these instructions are in German. He goes, Will you speak you speak German? I go, Speak it, I can't read it. And the other guy takes it, reads out the instructions to him, just, <laughs> and then when he gets to the end, yeah, shouting them in German, but putting in motherfuckers in there as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then when, it, when he's like, when The final check, he's like, Well, guess motherfucker on the ground, off the ground, then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> such a good film like just this is what i mean like I, when was, I can't remember the last time i watched a film like anything recently that was as funny as this the only thing I, is we could we could rewatch it because it's not on netflix it's not on amazon i haven't got it for, i thought i did but i haven't so even got it I, on dvd I, I, yeah. I youtubed it yeah i thought i, I had could, DVD, i've but. seen it i've seen it a, a million times so i know what happened i didn't have to watch it but i was like oh, yeah, i want to fucking i want to watch it now yeah 
Oh, it's just yeah. Um, and, and we get to, like well, to, I know we're jumping off. Who cares? Uh, a bit towards the end where Jim, there's only Jim Carrey. There's very few actors. I think. Well, I think there's only one who could pull off having a fight with himself. Oh um, my god! And the <laughs> scene is just unbelievable like he's just like there's just bits where he's like talking to each other like she called for me shut up and all that and like with other people you think oh it's like it's ridiculous but jim carrey just sells it like when he spits in his own eyes i just love because he's like here's it, his reaction he's like, it's like the, and then the bit where he goes to the old he's like running after irene and then and he comes up to this group of old ladies and he's like hey ladies my name is charlie bailey gates want to see my weasel and you're like what the hell like <laughs> Like, his face going, come on, come on, get your foot long and a bag of nuts. A bag of nuts, yeah. <laughs> As he exposed I, himself to everyone, yes. <laughs> I, like, I think and that bit, the most impressive bit is he he he, um, he spears himself through a glass window. Yeah. Because he's running yeah. to his window and he turns around like, how? Oh, he turns around he goes to the window. takes them, yeah. Oh, man. He, I mean, it's, a, up... extended, it's an extended version of the liar liar scene in the bathroom, basically, is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And I, I'm, I'm there for it. my ass. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> He's, yeah, he's, he's a madman, Your Honor. He's he makes you laugh when he goes when he gets up and he's like, "Hank, truce for now, fucker." Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh. when he gets yeah. his when he gets his thumb shot off, it's the screen. Oh screen. yeah, because the shot as well goes right to his tonsils, like right, or oh, whatever the hell that's called. He's right just like he's, he just does that. He's just stamping up on the ground like a child. Where's my thumb? Oh. <laughs> what do you do uh, that for? And I love, like, he, he ends up getting shot in the escape, doesn't he? And then, they're like, Hank's like, he's like, oh, my God, we're shot. And Hank's like, no, it's just a flesh wound. And sticks his finger in his own arm. And he's like, Ugh. And then he, like, he faints. And then Hank's like, you mean I got to carry you? Sorry, ass. And, like, picks him up. And Jim Carrey does this whole bit where he's, like, carrying himself and, like, throws himself in the car and then just smoothly gets in the front. Oh, I Makes love when he throws himself out of the car and he's like, how did you get here? He's like, you can't get rid of me, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> We're in this together. Well, the bit before that, when he runs the cop over, he runs the cop over, and Charlie's like, "Oh my God, what have you done? Don't you just love it? I can just, it's oh, such a good film." Um, and then the bit where, like, towards the end, where um, Hank and Charlie have kind of called a truce from the fight, um, and then Irene's being kidnapped by Dicky, is it? I think he's called. Um, and then... I can't believe the main villain in this is called Dicky. <laughs> I mean, it's just the bad guy's called. Dicky. I mean, to be fair, we've managed to get to this point and like miss out the whole dildo bit. I'm sure we'll. Oh, we're coming back to some we're of the moments. Back. We're coming back we to the um, moments. Uh, but yeah, they, they just uh, the bit with that where, where like they're about to go over that bridge and Hank's just like, eh, she's screwed. Come on, I'll buy a beer. And turns around. <laughs> yeah. And he's standing there just beating the shit out of his own legs. Like, it's my body. Yeah. Oh, it's just, it's nuts. So, yes, uh, yeah, I was going to say so. Yeah, the dildo, but I thought that's that was a weird segue. But <laughs> uh, well, yeah. there's no right, there's no other way to do, to to uh, get there really. To be honest, no. Yeah, the sex scene. It makes me laugh. It makes me laugh before that is when he um when he goes to get the cokes and he's like, <laughs> it's like I just had an. He's like, oh no, he's like, no, 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 it's fine. He's. I said, sir, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I'm really having a hard time right now. I don't appreciate it. And he said, I'm sorry. And we worked it out. And then when it cuts to when they're walking out. The coke machine has been ripped to <laughs> fuck. There's cans everywhere. I'm pretty sure the geezer's car's smashed up as well. Well, yeah, there's, there's yeah. that bit where he sees it right at the beginning that um, when he when he first like flips, he becomes uh, Hank. And there's a bit where, where he's oh no, it's at the gas station, isn't it? Where he sees a guy like parking the disabled bear. Um, and then, yeah, yeah, he like, pisses out, and he's like smashing the car. Up. He like this is a mint. Jim Carrey, physical humor. He rips the headrests off because it's a, like a convertible. It's a, it's a Chrysler, isn't it? It's a good yeah, because yeah. yeah. the, the guy comes out with a fucking neck brace on and he's like, "Get your cock out of my Chrysler, <laughs> you son of a bitch!" And then, like, oh, it's just nuts, man. See, that's not that's not the best scene of him at a, at a gas station, though. That's hey, not the best oh, yeah, yeah. The best scene <laughs> is with the baseball team, and they, they flick they flick the fag button on the floor, and he's like. He's like, well, fuck my ozone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, ringworm. You're going to uh, pick up that toe of my cap, stick it in my foot, and stick it in your big fat pippy a hole. And it's, and a, it's physical, the, physical like, humor. Hey, man, but, hey, man, it's, it's just a cigarette. He's like, oh, yeah. Well, and it's just a fist. When I start throwing around, leave one hell of a mess. <laughs> it's just funny, it's the then, way he does the fist. He pops, he tucks his <laughs> bombs in. 
Well, that that's yeah. meant to be the point that like because like Hank is an extension of Charlie. Charlie can't fight, so neither can Hank. That's why in every it's film, just, it's every the, scene it's, it's the slow scene. motion. It's the yeah. It's, it's when he goes. It's when he goes like that. It's when he puts, the, yeah. when he puts he, the gun. He puts his fist in the high in the air and, and he, he puts hooks. to the left and he uh, hooking like just shadow box in the air. It makes it up when it pans. <laughs> when it pans backwards, um, his arms are moving slowly, but his feet are moving normal pace. So he's getting yeah. there really quickly, but his <laughs> arms are slow. And then the guy just, it's when he tases him, he turns back to Charlie like that. Yeah. You just hear the hey hey hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're like. <laughs> Uh, let's kick the shit out of him. <laughs> no, no, he's a skin zone. Oh, see, yeah. see that one? You can you can say that oh, line now. You no, would no. not say he's a schizo. It's he's a schizo. Well, I mean that's the thing, like with that whole side of things, like the Farley brothers, and you notice it in this film. I know I did. Um, they've always had a lot of like people with disabilities in their films. Like their friends help them make it. Like their films are oh, quite yeah. noticeable for that. Um, like that's when you watch thing. Shallow Hal, and when you watch this film, and you watch Dumb and Dumber as well. Um, There's something about Mary as well. That's another yes, one. That's why yeah. I think is their. Be- that's why I think is their best movie. Um, but yeah, that that is true for that as well. Um, so it's, it seems uh, to be... her brother. Sorry, it's just Mary. No, brother, no, no. Yeah. Sorry, yes. Yeah, um, yeah, it, it's like, but like that was never brought up back then. It isn't brought. Like I know these films are kind of held up as kind of like sometimes people say, oh, they just gross out humor. I'm like, there's so much more than that. Like this film, like it's, it is clever, funny. There's moments of like sweetness in it, kind of. But then there's also jokes about, you know, my ass is really sore. So, you know, there's one out of context. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> this is oh, this is, I love on that scene, though. That scene after the drinking, the uh, the rum, whatever it is. And he's, Bacardi, he's, like, he's, uh, he's like, Irene, <laughs> why am I being like I've been up on not having sex? <laughs> I like, talk about things that you didn't get as a, watching as a kid kind of thing. <laughs> like, but he's stu- just stood there about to pee and then it suddenly just hits the wall kind of <laughs> right next to him and he's he grabs- getting the picture frame he grabs the picture frame to try and angle it the thing is he out. grabs a toilet roll first he grabs a to- <laughs> the whole toilet roll first and then, and then wakes it off is when he jumps in the shower and just wraps himself and just squeezes yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. and then there's the discovery that actually no Irene didn't have sex yeah. with Charlie she had sex with Hank yeah, because it's the uh, the guy's like, yeah, the oh dear, well, it looks like Hank, Hank pulled has the pulled the first one. one. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, the reveal. He sits down. He's like, oh, this is that old hanky panky wasn't enough for you. <laughs> Does that you noise just need a. Have fun? Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's no place that you get. It's no place that you go. It wasn't, it wasn't for me. And it's, he just he just flings it. It's the noise it makes when it hits the wall. He's like, boom. But it hits the wall. He's like, you got you got the you got the good times. I just got the hangover of the swollen prostate. I'm like. <laughs> Because yes, I like when it pans. The... It pans to her knocking on the door. So like, Charlie, you okay? And he's got his ass and his thing. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm just uh just just resting up. Yeah. Well there's a bit that's a bit, like the bit as a kid, like when he gets out of bed uh, uh, after that night, he wakes up and as he's walking in the toilet, which I'd never noticed before, he goes like oh and like like puts his hand like towards his backside as if to see it. Well that hurts a bit and then you realize <laughs> why. Yeah, so I guess he's like, oh, <laughs> Oh, God. That scene is oh. just that. That scene itself is just worth its weight in gold for me. The most, the funniest thing is I'm just childish. The noise that that fucking dildo makes when it hits the wall just fucking does me. <laughs> well, she knocks Irene knocks Dicky out with her later on in the train station. Yeah, sure. Because bonk, oh, yeah, yeah. And, and he lands on he lands on um, Charlie, but it's Hank. He goes, Warren, I want my own cell. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god yeah it's just uh... that's in that scene there when he comes out the toilet and um he gets in dicky's face dicky pushes him up and he goes he just starts scratching his face oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> he's like <laughs> and he starts scratching his face and i think he punches him and knocks him out and Aaron just goes <laughs> conk around the back of the head with the dildo oh god <sighs> brilliant <Tough. sighs> Was, yeah, it was just before that they pick up um, that uh, the real pal guy that's uh, oh, Casper. Oh, yeah. 
Casper. Milky. Casper. Milky. I love, I love how his Milky real name. I love, his, I love his. No, he, he calls him Whitey. And then he goes, "What's your real name?" He goes, "It's Casper." My friends call me. No, um, is he calling Milky yeah, or Whitey? Know, He's Mil- is, Milky at the beginning. Me, yeah, Milky then, at the beginning. Call me Whitey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just, um, they kind of like, right? They haven't tagged it along for like a lot of things. Like I like the joke about his glasses when Irene sticks them up from the car and she can see all the people's faces like in the planes. That's like high up in the air, <laughs> showing that this guy's eyes are fucked. <laughs> um, and then they had the reveal when he's, uh, Charlie's laying there in bed with him kind of thing. And they ask him about his family life. And uh, White proceeds to tell him a story about how he like killed all his family. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's how what prompts like Charlie to go stay with Irene that night. And then they also was prompts them to uh, to like leave him behind. Yeah. He's like he's like you you said you said you killed the whole family. Oh, I was just lying. They didn't kill him. They moved to Phoenix. The bastards. Bastards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> could, you imagine, could you imagine? Could you imagine me after. out in Phoenix? I wouldn't last oh, five yeah. minutes. <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, <laughs> why, why did you tell me that you killed them all? Well, I got I, I got a was it? I got a medicated schizo in my bed talking like a teenage girl. You freaked me out, man. <laughs> yeah. You no, know, apparently there's a deleted scene. They released like a video, believe it or not, with like an extended edition um, in the like early 2000s, I think, um, where there was a shot, you know, when before Charlie's about, as Charlie gets out of bed, you see Whitey's hand holding like a big kitchen knife in the bed. Like, I don't know whether that was meant to be he was frightened of Charlie or the other way around, but um, I like, yeah. I like the reveal that they did of it kind of thing. They actually turned out no way. He just was yeah. just making it up kind of thing because he was scared <laughs> was, of Charlie. It was the reaction and... to his family moving to Phoenix. He's like, they moved to Phoenix, the bastards. <laughs> and he, yeah, and he saves the day in the end as well because he's the guy yeah. that obviously shoots him with the gun because he gets the gun and you think, oh shit, he's going to get involved and like uh, take out Charlie. But no, he's actually there. <laughs> he to help save him him he goes, rock on! Yeah, bro, yeah. Rock and roll! Rock and roll! <laughs> there, was a guy, there was a guy with a big lawn dart. Because oh, yeah, that long just launched the yeah. long guy and they like, rock and roll. <laughs> so there's a bit where um, that long dart earlier on where he's, he's da- when Hank's dancing to um, like the rock song. Well, it's, uh, it's, the death, it's, it's definitely like yeah. death metal. It's, it's yeah. like a motherfucker robot, motherfucker <laughs> robot, mother, mother, mother. And she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> he's like, well, the first time what's happening. Oh, like, yeah. and, it, she, and she says, I've seen your supplies. And he's like, well, I wasn't just going to ram it home. I was going to move it up and ease it out in there. And she's like, I was talking about the shovel and the lime. And like, he has this giggle, doesn't he? Like, Hank has this laugh where he's like, thank you. That was the best laugh I heard in a long time. <laughs> that, those belong to the dead cop, the, the bad cop. Did you think he was going to take our dead bodies to the police station? And she and he just like puts his hand over. And just yeah, so he just lowers down. it down slowly. But there's some really good, like, um, there's a few of like, they have that, that song. Um, can't remember what it's called. Where he like transitions into kind of the Hank character. Oh, it's a few. Nah, 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 yeah, nah, nah, we're, we're gonna, gonna rock you. Real. <laughs> but then there's other bits where it, like it comes as a bit of a surprise, like um, like the bit where she's there driving and Charlie's asleep. And she looks at him quite sweetly, and then you just see like the the legs just like raising <laughs> up. Um, and then she and it pans to his face. He's got a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah. He's like, just goes to give it, yeah. I like the bit. I can't remember what it is. I think I think that's the it's the scene where he destroys the Chrysler. He sees the guy parking the disabled and jumps out, and he sort of just his whole body just sort of shakes, and he just oh, and yeah, his eyes change. His eyes just change instantly, and then he just starts throwing the rubbish in there. And he, I think it's the way he rips the headrest yeah. out of the seat for me. He stands on it and just reaches in and pulls and throws them back behind his head. And then decides to piss in the uh, in the petrol. <laughs> no, but the best bit, the best line before that is that it's like the the guy who's taken the disabled guy's car there because he says to the guy, "Come on, Mister Whatever, I just got her all filled up." <laughs> and goes outside and you see like Hank's there, who just like literally stood with his cock in the car. Just, he's, like, just, he's, he's just like, oh, yeah. oh yeah, get your cock out of my Chrysler, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh man. Oh, yes. it's, it is a testament to like the writing of. Hank, how they he be so crazy, but yet when they decide to make him serious and talk about what happened to Charlie and how he was created, kind of thing, that it is believable. And it's to about Jim Carrey. And also, like, well, I like that moment where he does decide to do something nice to Charlie and he has the rest for the rest of the movie, he has oh, the yeah. uh, plaster over his chin because apparently he had a weak, he, yeah, Charlie, he had uh, weak Hank, chin. Hank, said, weak Hank chin. says that he had a weak chin. 
So he <laughs> like, goes I to like, the plastic. Like he went to the uh, plastic surgeon. He was, when he does that, it's when he says that he goes, he goes, I liked my chin. I like, I liked my chin. chin. <laughs> yeah, I, goes, I, I lent him the money, and then you see Whitey in the back, and he's like, "Who ah, the hell are you?" Oh, <laughs> he goes, Holy <laughs> hell! <laughs> who was who Whitey? What is he doing here? Um, and because he's oh, because his nose gets fixed because Hank has an idea to get because of the wallet on the dash. He has an idea at Ben and Jerry World, which passed me by as a kid as well. Um, when he sticks to us that kid's ice cream, and he goes, Arr! Arr! And, then, and then Irene's like, real nice, Hank. And he's like, it's survival at this point. He's <laughs> like, it's it's goes, goes, it's like, hey, we tell him I got rolled in the parking lot and we're at a Florida's Cup of Benjamin. Come on. And I want you to kick kick, kick me in the face. What? Come on, rip my head off. It's like, don't give me one of those, ooh, goo, I'm a girly little sissy, let me do And then she just, just boots him, yeah. squaring the face. Right in the stairs. <laughs> and again, fun. he switches back to Charlie kind of thing as he goes <laughs> over the bridge and he just does a little <laughs> jump and goes, ah! <laughs> well, he, as he just, rolls down the yeah. hill. And then, he he, and then he has the neck brace. And then he has the neck brace. In and, the 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 bra- and, the wi- and the whistling <laughs> nose. The whistling <laughs> nose. It's when, it's when they're running for the train and he takes the neck yeah. brace off, cracks his neck and he's like, oh, come on, we can do it. Everyone only uses 10% of their potential. Potential. You need to dig deeper, and then she just fucking dusts. She digs like, deeper, and he doesn't. That's it. You can do it. <laughs> it's like jump off, and she jumps off the train. He's like, "Come on, the trees in the first place don't look." What? Like, come on, come on, come yeah. on, Irene. You can't be laying around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, great, honestly. Uh, um, and then, like at the end of the movie, right at the very end of the movie, is when they reveal what he done to his chin, and they actually oh, gave yeah. him like. An arsehole, an arsehole chin. Like, Daddy, Daddy you can put yeah. that butthole in his chin. His chin. Daddy, yeah. you can put those wet breasts at the same time. He sure is a Spartacus looking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I love, uh, there's also, I, I think this is a deleted scene as well because I is. have the DVD. It's a deleted scene as well where, like, after they're taking the uh, the piss out of his chin, kind of thing, he just turns around to his sons and just goes, Yeah, well, your mouth fucks a midget. <laughs> just <laughs> serious there. Yeah. And they just and then go they, dead they, quiet. They, 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 they were dead quiet, like, what? Really? And he starts laughing at them, and then they all laugh as too. Yeah, just like, yeah, mom, like, Mitch, and he was just like, yeah, that's uh, that's real funny. <laughs> kind of thing. That's like a truthful moment. Do you know what? The underrated moment in the film is the very, 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 very end is when you got the three brothers and Whitey in the plane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And they were like, thanks for watching that motherfucking movie. <laughs> well, yeah, because they're in the plane because Charlie, they go back to Rhode Island. He proposes and to, to, leave, yeah. proposes to Irene. Um, and it's, it's, he's got um, one of the banners off the back of the plane that says, will, will you marry, marry me, bitch? Bitch, <laughs> bitch yeah, marry me. Again, that ain't flying now. You can't call anybody a bitch. <laughs> oh, um, man, that's... And uh, you, you get... Um, you, well, they rescue him, don't they? Because they end up in the river. Charlie's got no thumb. He rescues Irene. Um, and then the, the kids appear in the helicopter to rescue him. And I just love like one of them was on like the, the loudspeaker, just like Hold We're on, coming, Daddy! Daddy. We're coming, Daddy! <laughs> uh, oh no, there's another bit at the beginning as well that shows how clever those kids are. When they actually are kids, they're like, he's going to work and they're like, What are you, he's like, What are you doing? We're building an airplane, Daddy, and he turns in and he's like, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, you see him coming back later on at this bike, and then they're there with like this full on like little Nelly machine about to take I was like don't you take off with it like he cheers them on the back it makes you laugh how as he gets close he puts on his sight he puts on his lights he puts the siren <laughs> on hey you get out of that plane right now I want to you uh, yeah. up and he goes Shante Jr how can you get all that crap and not get fat oh just lucky I guess and then when it fades out to him sitting watching uh, Chris Rock he's like fucking three times the size yeah. of everyone else yeah um yeah, Chris oh, Rock before you know Chris Rock did did exist before a few weeks ago. Shockingly for everybody, that joke he tells though is fucking hilarious. It is oh, fun. Yeah. Like, you're having your salad tossed, having your ass all eaten now with <laughs> jelly or syrup. I prefer syrup because <laughs> he goes, hey, "He's a funny motherfucker." Oh. <laughs> um, oh, isn't there a scene at the? Oh, is it? It might be an extended one or a deleted one where. Though looking for Charlie's thumb at the end in the river, and Whitey finds it, and then a fish eats it, and he's like, "Never mind." Like, yeah, that's an, I think that's a um, I think that's a deleted scene. I think I've seen that before. Yeah, he's I like, hey, I found it. it. Oh wait, no, never mind. Did you guys notice that there's a character from Dumb and Dumber that reappears in this film uh, as as a state trooper? Yeah, because there's a bit towards the end where like he's all rescued and everything, and he's like, uh, "Here you go, Charlie." He's like, "Thanks, Seabass," but Seabass is like a cop. So it's the same actor you know played Sea Bass in uh, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen a deleted scene from Dumb and Dumber with Sea Bass? Yes, we talked. We talked about it last time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That might be on ours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, sorry, yeah, yeah, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> you could not have that scene now. <laughs> you couldn't have the film. I don't, well, I don't... You know what? I don't think it's... You couldn't do it. I think that... I, I would... I, I've said it before. I think if they made a film now that was like Con Air, with like literally giving zero fucks about what you're saying, what you're doing, I think people would love it. The majority would just think, oh, it's a, it's a good laugh. But there's always people out there who want to be, you know, want a cause or want to be offended by something. And you, you can't please everyone. That's the thing. No, I don't know. Um, Fucking hell, Mitch! I forgot you were still here. Yeah, <laughs> 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 forgot you were still here. He's been throwing in comments. He's been throwing in comments. Yeah, sitting there, sitting there, sitting there snickering. <laughs> tee hee. Sitting there, snickering and tee in the background. Come on, then, Mitch. What, what, what was the best bit for you then, Mitchell? Come on. Uh, uh, it's already been said. The chicken. Oh yeah, yeah. Mitch Will loves, somebody Mitch, get this chicken, loves ass, the chicken get stuck up someone's ass. I like the chicken get stuck up someone's ass. I he's, lo- I like, lo- he's like, I like the guy. He's like, God, someone get this chicken out of my ass, please. <laughs> I love the reaction of the, of the police officer. He like opens the door, the detective, and he's like, Whoa! Like he just sees it. Like, Whoa! <laughs> that detective, I can't, I can't unsee him in um, Step Brothers. I can't, un- uh, I can't unsee it. Because I would, I, I would have, I remember Step Brothers more than I did me myself and Aaron until I watched it again when I was, when I was a lot older. And every time I see him, the first thing that comes to my mind is just that scene in Step Brothers when he's, he goes, "Rock the fuck out of those, <laughs> rock the fuck out of those." I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Rock the fuck out of those drums, Dale. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's um, he's pretty, he's pretty famous. He's been in a lot of um, he has been in a lot of that guy. Like, he, he's in um, fucking Cabin in the Woods. He's great in that. Yes, he's, that's he's, what he's in. He's in the control room, isn't he? He's a good yeah. actor. He's a good actor, he, but as comedy, he's fucking perfect. He's, he's, he's really he plays good. a real good shithead, like a proper shitty, <laughs> horrible bastard. But he's he's just his comedic timing. I think is just is perfect. It's like I forgot how to be a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget how to be a dinosaur, Dale. <laughs> oh, we should do Step Brothers. That's great. We that's should a great do Step Brothers. <laughs> yeah. that's great. You know, I've never seen it. What? Oh, I've never, seen, never seen it. No. It's like, when it, when they start singing, for a second, you turned into a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you've never seen Step Brothers. I just, it's, I don't know. It's, sometimes films don't appeal to me. I didn't, I didn't really enjoy it. Get, get the fuck out of it now. <laughs> it's not been, it's been like I've not been here anyway, it's got, so it's all right. It's got some heavy, it's got some heavyweight talent in it. It's, it's got, got some... Got, you got the guy, what was it, Adam, Adam something, that's in the Parks of Recreation. He plays the brother of the, of the brother of one of the brothers. He oh, plays well, the brother plays, of um, uh, Will Ferrell. He plays um, Derek. Yeah, yeah, Derek, and the, he's got a, he's got like a little family kind of thing. They're all singing <laughs> like to each other, mind in the car. <laughs> Such a great scene, man! Oh, I love Step Brothers. Well, it's flat, it's flat. I have traveled, in... I've traveled thousands of miles to give you my seed. <laughs> Will Will Ferrell. <laughs> you have, there's, you, there's there's so many little bits in that that are just it's oh, it's even down to like right there. It even goes right down to the last, literally the last scene. I think the last scene. It's literally just before the credits, <laughs> where they get given. I know it's complete, it's completely no sense, but they get given Chewbacca masks. One is movie quality, and one is like it's just like a plastic one. And <laughs> yeah, and he gives him one, and they're like, "Oh, Chewbacca mask!" It's, and then Wolf Ferrell just out of nowhere goes, "It's okay, the mine's not movie quality." <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so, you have to watch. You have to watch <sighs> it because there's there's so many famous lines. It's like. It's like, do we just become best friends? Yep. Do you want yep. to go do karate <laughs> in the garage? Yep. <laughs> Have you seen them? Um, see, I'm not a massive Will Ferrell fan. Like, I know some people absolutely love him. But I've always been kind of lukewarm on him. Uh, brace yourselves. I'm not a massive fan of Elf. I don't see what people love about it. Just, I don't really. I mean, it can only be but watched I, at Christmas anyway, so. Yeah, true. Never mind. Uh, but I did see, have you ever seen a film called... Mr. Um, Mitch. What's it called? Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Stranger something. Hang on a minute, I'll come in Mitch, a minute. Mitch, Mitch is holding back. He's like, what the fuck you say about Elf? What the fuck you say about Elf? Go for it, Mitchell, go for it. What the fuck you say? That's it, I've got it. Stranger than Fiction. Stranger than Fiction. Which is where um, Will Ferrell, um, he plays a character, like a guy who's just going through the motions of life. And then it turns out he's a character in a book and he starts hearing her narrate his life. 
and it's Emma Thompson who narrates it, and she's like, "Little did he know it was his last day to live." And he's like, "You just see Will Ferrell in the middle of the street going, no, why? <laughs> like it's it's a great film. It's like really, it, I don't think many people have seen it, but yeah, Stranger Than Fiction. I think as I've got older, I, I, I as I've got older, I care less about Elf. Like, as I've got older, I've care, I care less and less about it. Like, Don't jump on the bandwagon now, Liam. Like, do, well, no. To be fair, I'll, I've always said that the Grinch is better than Elf, and that's oh, I love upset. the Grinch. That's always upset a few people because when Elf comes on at Christmas, everyone it's on. It comes on TV in November and just stays there till like February. We should do the Grinch at Christmas. I tell you what, though, right? And the <laughs> best one of the best lines in it is like, "It's because I'm green, isn't it?" The amount of times I've said that. Like between me and my sister, and people look at you like you're weird, and it's like I just like, when he tries to flag the taxi down because I'm green, isn't it? Mitch doesn't. Mitch doesn't watch any film at Christmas that's not Nightmare Before Christmas, isn't it, Mitch? No, I I do. Do you watch, watch? I do watch. No, I watch Nightmare Before Christmas at Halloween. You watch it every day, don't you? <laughs> no, just oh. Halloween. Do you dress? Do you, do, you, do, you wear, do you wear your cosplay when you're doing it? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Don't lie. Don't just lie. reenact the whole thing. We don't watch it. We just reenact the whole film. <laughs> I wear my cosplay when I watch uh, Muppets Christmas Carol. The only, the only <laughs> costume, the only costume I've got, not not Which a one? cosplay. <laughs> Which one? Do you Wait, paint one, yourself? What? Do you paint yourself green and just wave your arms about? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only costume I've got, I got for the dart. It's the mask. It's the only, it's the only thing I've got. I've got like the proper yellow suit, and the tie, and the. Oh, I, I haven't got no costumes. The only thing <laughs> I've got is a green Power Rangers morph suit, which probably won't fit anymore. <laughs> yeah. I wore it to a stag do. Will, willingly. <laughs> I've, got some, like... I've, I've got some hospital scrubs that me and Mitchell wore to a work party one time. Yeah. Yeah, we, we went as JD and Turk. To yeah, I wasn't. Oh, I, nice. I, I wasn't. I wasn't part of the uh, of the clique, so I wasn't involved. I wasn't allowed. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that same that same part, uh, staff party we went to, I had on the ugliest Christmas jumper known to man. Do you remember that jumper I had on? Yeah. That yeah, bright yeah. Ne- I had a bright neon green, blue, yellow, and pink Christmas jumper. It offended every sense. <laughs> every sense every, every sense with his I literally I ordered it I, I ordered it I opened the packet and I was like that is fucking offensive <laughs> I put it on and my missus literally just went that's fucking disgusting you are not wearing that and I was like it's done <laughs> perfect it's already on challenge and I, accepted and then literally I remember turning up and the first person that saw it looked at me and went that is fucking disgusting and I was like Pleased to meet you. Yeah, <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <my name's laughs> yeah, I, like, I was like, I have arrived. I am here. <laughs> that was in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was in the cab. That was in the cab. I was like, what the fuck is that? Like, yes. Drive me. What are That's those? A... <laughs> what are those? Mitchell was probably wearing his light up his light up trainers. I, well. um, I imagine that was a I was, yeah, I was I, wearing my light up trainers. I broke them. You, you have light up trainers. I did. Yeah, have. He, no, it broke. You did have live trainers. It broke, it broke that night. Sorry, yeah. Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine how... We were bowling, I and I threw a bowling we ball at my own shoe. <laughs> how? <laughs> when we were trying to out- <laughs> you, know, no, no, with the bowl. you dropped. You dropped a bowling ball in your shoe. You no, no. What happened? What happened was, is when we went there, it was me and someone else who work with were on one lane, and them two were on the other, and they were like, "Hey." We're best friends. We can outbowl you two because you two are best friends. And we're like, no, you can't. And it's like, yes, we can. Bear in mind, at this point, I didn't actually, I didn't actually know them that well. We just, I'd, I'd worked. How long have we? How long had I been there? Well, couple of years, two, two and a bit two, years. Yeah, yeah, two and maybe. Bit, yeah, two and a bit years. I didn't really know. I knew who they were, and that's about it. And then it was literally like, like reputation okay, preceded us. Yeah, <laughs> it's it like. I'm gonna. It's like we're gonna bowl better than you. It's like no, you fucking not. So, I, I think I, I think the right line was I turned around to Liam and his best friend who, who's there and said, "This is how best friends bowl." And me and Mitchell got into the, each lane. You took both then, lanes. <laughs> took both lanes. Beat you to a bowling ball, and at the same time, while looking at each other, bowled the ball <laughs> kind of thing. Like you both maintaining got eye contact both got, with each other. You both got strikes as well. I don't remember that. No, no, I don't like, remember maybe, that. No, 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 that no. Might, that, I remember. I remember. I remember. I didn't look. I remember you getting strikes because I said because I turned around and went right. Get your fucking ass up there now, <laughs> and you do the same damn thing. And we did it. We both we got a strike just, and, uh, and then it just became. 
because it was a free, it was like free bar. So everyone was getting steamed. And you had us four trying to outdo each other playing bowling. <laughs> yeah, I tried to bowl the ball between the leg, be, between my legs from behind. And that's how I hit my foot with the oh, ball. Okay. And that's I mean, how I broke my hit, shoe. It could have been worse. You could have hit worse. You could have hit Mark. Yeah, Could have and been alcohol. Worse. Yeah, yeah, and alcohol had been consumed as, as well. Yeah, yeah. yes. Uh, alcohol. Well, wasn't that wasn't that the uh, wasn't that the evening that Mitch uh, yeah. nearly killed himself? <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right word to use. Okay, uh, what, way, what, what way do I want to put it? Mitch <laughs> took in pharmaceuticals, and the pharmaceuticals didn't agree with him. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, yeah, no. But Dave don't Dave doesn't do anything illegal. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I was the other side of the wall. No, no, man. I don't know. Those, those things rot your brain, man. Yeah, man. Anyway, this is going to be us to us going bowling and Mitch nearly dying. Great times. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. How and, we and, and, and Mitch breaking that. his and Mitch breaking his light up shoes. Yeah. Which only I uh, thought ten year olds wore, but uh, <laughs> there we go. There you go. We'd like to make, we'd like to make an entrance, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, you turned up wearing scrubs, so you know. If I could go to, if I could get away with going to a work party like in full drag, I would. It'd be just really, it'd just be really entertaining. <laughs> my missus, <laughs> so, like, my missus, yeah, to get away with it. My missus like, works I'm, in a drag. My missus works in a drag bar. Yeah, and she used to be a makeup artist, so I could make your wish come true easily. <laughs> yeah. Hasn't been done properly though. I mean, I'm not going to lie. There was a t- I'm keeping the bids. During, um, <laughs> during lockdown, during lockdown, she got bored and she decided that she wanted to do like, she wanted to like, she's like oh, I want to do some makeup. I don't want to put it on me because I can't be asked to take it off. It's like, can I do it to you? And I was like, no. She's like, please. I was like, no. She's like, please. I was like, no. And after going back and forth, she was like, no knows. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was like, if if you do it, will you shut the fuck up? <clears throat> she was like, yeah. So I sat there. Bear in mind, she only did one fucking eye. <clears throat> she did like fucking eyelashes. I love that, I love that that's your complaint. Not the yeah. fact she put makeup on you. Like, she didn't you make didn't even sim- even it up. She didn't make me you look like David Bowie. <laughs> she just had one eye, and she, she did like all the... like the eyeshadow and all that shit. And then when it was done, she was like, "Why does your eyes look better than mine?" And I'm pretty sure my answer was, I'm fabulous bitch. And then I carried on playing Warzone. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was my response. Oh, I didn't carry on. Love? No, I didn't carry on playing Warzone. I started carrying on watching uh, RuPaul's Drag Race. I was going to say, I, did you have your glasses on while, playing, while she was doing this? <laughs> no, no, I'm just going to have my glasses on. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So how are you playing Warzone? <laughs> I can see if I take What's my glasses off. If I do this, if I take my glasses off, I don't go, oh, shit, oh, I can't see. Oh, oh, blind. Oh, no. Put some back on, you can see people in planes. Yeah. Exactly. You're trying to call me albino, you cunt. <laughs> I, believe that, I believe they're referred to as albinoxes now. <laughs> it's, albino is gender-specific. Gender well, that's a that's new one just, for me. That's, 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 just, just, that's, that's just The more the you know. That's just Latinx. Don't really know anymore. Do you know that, Latinx. You know that that's, what, of, that's what I call back to. That's what I mean. Comedy's dead in its ass at the minute. I don't. There's just nothing. There's nothing kicking about, is there? It's just there is. Wait, what podcast? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're there's, your, there's your segue. There's your segue, there's your segue back. Right. Thanks yeah. for that. Um, yeah. So before we wrap up, well, uh, where where are you guys? Uh, from what where can people find you? What are you all about? I don't know. What do you want to take it? Am I doing it? Yeah, yeah. sure, bit. Me? It's your bit. My bit. Oh, it's before it's my night off. Um, we well, are the Wait What Podcast. <laughs> we are. <laughs> you can find us on Twitter at Wait What Pod Trio. Don't bother going anywhere else because we don't use it. Um, send us your Amber Heard turd memes, please. We are enjoying them at the moment. Um, we have an episode at where well, it depends. By the time this comes out, our idle chat will probably been out. Yep. Idle chat. Comes out comes out uh on the thirtieth. Tomorrow. Yes. Yes, tomorrow yeah, the thirtieth it comes out. Um talking about the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard trial. So 
Yeah. Me and, da- me, and, me and Dave get a bit debatey in this one, actually. We do have a little yeah. bit of a debate. It is a little bit debatey. Oh, yeah. Sounds good. It gets good. a bit serious at one moment. Yeah, it, yeah, does. it does. It's a bit, it gets a bit debatey. And then, we, and, then, tested, and, then, is it? and then your regular bollocks comes in. Mitch mentioned yeah, Amber yeah. Heard shitting on the bed. Memes come out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah, and we'll probably like well the next the next episode we have coming up will be an idiot's guide of some description. I think is what we've agreed on. Yeah, we haven't decided something. on what yet, but we've got probably... we've got a collaboration coming up in uh, watch, in May. Idiot's guide on how to watch a film without killing anyone. Yes, there you go. Yes. Brilliant. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. We got, we've, got, we've got stuff coming up all the time. But, yeah, we've got oh, stuff coming up. But if you want to find out what it is, it's basically go to Twitter. Everything goes on there. We tried using Instagram. It's shite. Everyone's crying that Elon Musk bought Twitter. I don't care. We ain't leaving yeah. it. Yeah. We ain't yeah, leaving yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Our Twitter's yeah. finally starting to fucking grow. Yeah, I was <laughs> at, yeah. Check out. Same here. At least you get to see ours. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. No, cheers Check for coming out out again, them. guys. Check out our tournament episodes. Check out our yep. tier list that we did with Sean on yes. uh, Jim Carrey movies. If you want to get our opinions on a quick, a quick, a quick summary <laughs> of all our opinions on every Jim Carrey movie. Yep. That's on there. Um, yeah, we've got, we got better episodes now. And we, just send, just send, us, week. Gen, just send us gen, general abuse. That's what <laughs> send us abuse. That's all they want. I know that's difficult. No one, find, no difficult one find sends Twitter. us anything. No one says anything. Just one. One person. That's all I want. One person to try me. That's all I want. Yeah, basically, if you send Liam abuse on Twitter, he will respond. So, you know, oh. you, you'll get you're getting what you want. <laughs> I, will yeah. stop, I will stop what I'm doing. He will and feed I will, trolls. I, I will. I will gun you down. <laughs> he will feed the trolls po- pony style. Yes, pony style. Feed the pony. <laughs> feed the pony. Feed the pony. Feed the troll. Feed the pony. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's that's what uh, you guys have got coming up. Uh, coming up on review it yourself. Uh, the seven private Ryan, which is due from the Stu World Order podcast, and something else that I've completely, completely. Oh yes, next week I guested um on Film Vloggers with Ben and with his new co-host Dan Mackles. And that, uh, you talk about getting a little bit shirty. That one got interesting. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> give that one a little. No, it, it, uh, I, um, I'm a lot more animated in that than I think I've ever been before. So I'm, uh, but I've got no control over it. So let's see how that turns out. Uh, so yeah, that's what's coming up with myself and with you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you for coming on. And I'm not good at the endings. Just go on, Dave. Like... Go on, Dave. You know, <laughs> go, go, on, Dave. Keep on, go on, Dave. Keep on trucking. <laughs> 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 <laughs>